Hello there Year 10. So today I'm going to be showing you how you can create a piece of work that has been inspired by Mark Powell. So for this task you're going to need an image of a food item. Okay, so this should be technically one of your own images that you took uh, during the Christmas holidays, okay, or around that time. You want the image to be really clear and you'll want it to have lots of different textures and tones. So if you've got something like a sponge cake, for instance, which hasn't got many tones, you want to scrap that and find a different image. If you haven't taken any photographs that are appropriate, then you can use one off the internet, okay? So you can find a better one. And if you're struggling to find an image, do let me know and I will help you, all right? Then you are going to need a background. So you want your background to, of course, be inspired by Mark Powell. So you shouldn't be doing this on a white piece of paper, okay? So you want to make sure you're using coffee stain paper. You could use music note paper like I've done. You've even got a coffee stain that as well. You could use maps. You could use envelopes, okay? So any interesting items that you can work on top of, um, you know, the, best, uh, the more interesting, the better, all right? So you can see here, I've already started to sketch mine out, all right? So you can see I've sketched it out, first of all, in pencil. So you will want to do that because that'll help you get the image drawn out with accuracy because you know Mark Powell's drawings are highly accurate and detailed. So you want to replicate that in your own work, okay? So once you've done that, you will start to apply the by raw. Now you do not want to forget everything you've learned with this. This piece of work is showing all the skills that you have learned during our time using Biro, okay? So think about the mark making, think about the level of detail you will have put into your artist copy. You want this to be even better than that because you should be getting better all the time. So you're gonna spend quite a few, like quite a long time on this. You know, I, I expect you to spend several hours on it because then you know it's gonna be really top quality. So you can see here, okay, I have not added an outline around my cake. All right, if you look at this cake here, there's no outline around it, okay? It's a rookie mistake drawers often make, they outline everything. Do not do that, okay? You'll notice here, I've added a really faint outline with my pen, okay? And that means I can blend it out into the rest of the, the icing if I choose to do so, okay? So you can, if you want to, add a really faint outline, but what you don't want to do is press hard. However, where there are shadows, and where it is darker, that's my that there there'll be areas in which you will outline. Okay, so as I said previously, you want to layer your biro. Okay, so I can see this case of my cake is really really dark. So what I'll start to do is I'll start to add a light layer. And if I look here at where the lines are, the tone's actually a little bit lighter. So I will just apply really light pressure with my pen for the light areas. And then as it gets darker, you can either start to press harder with your pen, or you can add a light layer and then go over the top of it again, okay? It's completely up to you. Now, you need to make sure you follow the direction of whatever you are drawing. So you can see here, I've got these straight lines on my case. So I'm going to make sure that when I do the case, I am doing straight lines, okay? And the cream is rounded. So I'm gonna make sure I'm using nice curved lines for the cream. You can see here how I'm using my pen almost like a pencil. I'm trying to blend the marks as much as possible. Okay, and you can see that I'm applying really light pressure. I'm getting a lovely light tone. And wherever it's a bit darker, I might apply some dark pressure. So you need to really observe the picture to help you with that. You can see I've got all these beautiful textures around here on the sponge of the cake. So you want to make sure that you are replicating those textures. And a way to do that is actually add a base layer of pen. Okay, so you can see here, I am adding a base layer. And then I'm gonna work over the top of it with little marks. Okay, to give the impression of the texture. So make sure that you do include as much texture and as much detail as possible. We'd like you to submit this piece of work, so once you're done, take a photo of it and submit it to this week's task. 